question uh, deals with something we have to tackle here in a basic way. Uh, so both of you, in your view, how important was it that the 86 bill was comprehensive tax reform package rather than focusing only on business or, on the other hand, individual reform and getting support for its passage? Well, for us, it was critical because we needed a lot of the money we raised from business. Remember, don't confuse rates with revenue. We raised an immense amount of revenue, more than we were raising from businesses before. But we lowered the rates. And we used a lot of their money to lower rates for individuals. And we mixed the two of them up. I would have misgivings about trying to do just business. And then later on, we'll try to do just individual. I think you're better off to try to do both of them at once in one big bill. And I want, I want to use the word grandeur again. You come out with a big bill that you've agreed upon. And if you do, and it touches the point Bill and I have talked about, before the bill ever gets to the floor of the Senate, you're going to have immense newspaper support, academic support across the board, liberal to conservative. And you will, you will, just, you will be glad in retrospect that you combined it all in one. Um, I agree. We should, uh, you should, <laughs> you should combine um, both corporate and individual, uh, because if you just do corporate, it's not like you're going to have an easy path. If you do anything, it's serious. Uh, for example, when we did uh, the individual and corporate, essentially the business community split. You know? large percent of the business community were for the reform. Another segment of the business community was against reform. Guess what was the dividing line? What tax rate they paid? If they paid less taxes because the rate went from 50 to 28, they were for it. If they paid up more, they were against it. But the key was constructing a coalition that included a significant part of business. And this is where Bob was brilliant. And so I would argue that uh, that's, that's very important. You also might <clears throat> get to a point where you, you, might, you have more flexibility if you do individual and corporate, because they're both, they both are uh, essentially two sides of the same coin. For example, <laughs> you might decide that you want to cut the corporate rate to 10% uh, or 15%. And you might want to offset that by increasing the taxes on the individual side on dividends and capital gains. That's what they do in Denmark, for example. You wouldn't have that flexibility if you didn't have both individual and corporate put together in the same bill.